wouldn't if you're a holder of both, assuming you wanted to hold both, wouldn't it be in your best interest to want there to be parity or near parity for, for both pairs forever? You would probably want that, but who decides that, right? The OA could decide it. The OA could make that a reality. He has enough, you know, the OA has enough tokens distributed that if if it wanted them to be equal, it could. Uh, how, would that, how, would, how would the OA do that, by the way? The OA would just bridge over some eHex. It would bridge eHex over to Pulse, and it would bridge Pulse Hex over to Ethereum, and it would just liquidity pair them so tightly that the prices are more or less one-to-one. Um, can you can you think of a re- if if and okay, not, not conflating Richard no way, but Richard has mm-hmm. said he doesn't want to see cheap hex anywhere, and the OA's mission yep. is to protect the price. Could you see a future where that doesn't happen, where the OA doesn't make a big move to make sure there's parity? Um, well, not wanting to see cheap hex and there being a price difference are two different things, mm-hmm. right? Like. Does the OA want to see like one be 10 cents and one be basically worthless? No, I, I, the OA would likely not allow something like that, that to happen, in my opinion. Um, so at least they could put a floor in, is what you're saying? Sure, yeah, they could put floors in, they could put ceilings in on one or the other. They could say, uh, you know, maybe the market demands one's 10% more expensive than the other, and, and that's within whatever the OA's margin is acceptable. Uh, the reality is like, none of us know <laughs> you know like we're all just sitting here guessing what may or may not happen with that address um but it, it, it's the one with the power to do it if if um if that's gonna happen is is it can you see so that we know that OA can do it can you see there being a group of whales you think there's you know you think there's like a group of whales who talk to each other like hey you know you guys ready for launch you want to make sure that the the, the hex prices still go price price be up price always be up you think there's some coordination um maybe like whales do weird things they they the, the difference between like oa and whales tends to be if you look at actions the oa typically takes it's to uh keep the it, it's generally in the best interest of hex as a whole and whales generally act in their own best interest right so you know those two things sometimes align and sometimes they don't so you could see them playing along with that if they think they can get uh, get some kind of value out of it. Then I, I don't see I don't see why a whale wouldn't play along with it. Well, it seems like the easiest play is to 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 just get the copy and then keep both prices up. I mean, just the, the simplest view of you get a copy and then make sure both price stay the same. The more complicated thing seems like for coordination would be, okay, we're going to pick the winner. Which one's going to be the winner? And now we need to coordinate on all that stuff. Um, yeah, like there'll never be a winner, right? Because like if you decide that okay, one's a winner and one's not a winner, like all it takes is someone with some money to go pump the one that lost. You know, now it's not the loser right. anymore, right? Now, like right. it'll be a forever undecided game. Um, <clears throat> instead, I see maybe there being a small premium or a small discount in one or the other. I think there will be a range at which people allow it to trade because because at the end of the day, hex is hex and it doesn't matter if it's on Pulse Chain or ETH, like it still has the same value proposition. So <clears throat> I, I could see like Pulse Hex having like a minor uh, minor premium at first because I think there's a lot of people that want it more than they want their Ethereum version. Um, so I, I could see Pulse Hex maybe just being slightly more expensive to get into. Just because there's a big influx of money, like premiums tend to just represent where the flow of money is going. And if you have everything flowing into PHEX, PHEX probably should be slightly more expensive. Um, And in that case, maybe there's an opportunity that you as a liquidity provider can get a little EHEX out a little bit cheaper than it's going for on Ethereum, right? Maybe there's some deals. Do I think there's going to be any crazy deals where like you can get 100% off? Probably not. I don't think anyone's gonna let that happen i don't i don't think the oa would let that happen and i don't think the whales would let that happen either because it's too good of a deal right they would take it at 20 percent. they would take it at 15 because 10 percent when you have a hundred dollars is not a lot but 10 percent when you have a million dollars well that, that's all of a sudden that's a lot more money so you know if, yeah. if a whale can make 10 percent, the whale's gonna make 10 percent and not let anyone else take it any further so 
there'll be cooperation and fighting, but um, you know, it's gonna be wild no matter what. Like there's gonna be lots well, of the, coins moving lots of places. 